have it, you know, it's like, you know, you see the print, you know so what I'm funny. saying, through the jeans. What was it? It's like... <laughs> Right that's it, is it, Sam? You know what it you're is, dealing yeah, with. Yeah, you know what you're doing. What, <laughs> it, you just imagine that same length, erect, maybe a little bit wider. I like a little surprise. Yeah. You like a little surprise. But then, Growers are like, they have the shrinkage, you know what I'm saying? Oh! You just be careful But now. But then <laughs> they blossom. They blossom. It's like a butterfly. Yeah, like we come cool, out of our cocoon and we'll fly blossom. away. Yes. <laughs> like a tulip. Yes. <laughs> I would love for all the women on here to rate their arches from one to ten. <laughs> Drop a comment below. Nine. Nine. What? <laughs> because nobody is perfect, so nine. <laughs> Yo, wait, Amanda. What would you wait, Amanda? What would you rate right. your arch? Point nine, nine, nine. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What's so your my arch? Is probably like a seven. Right now. Nope. No oh. sevens. No sevens. Kevin Samuels, right, Kevin Samuels seven. says no seven. Yes. All right, is it a six or an eight? Yes. I'm going to eight. Yeah. No, uh, it's a six. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Milhouse. Facebook, IG, everybody, wherever you're at, thank you so much for tuning in. We love you. We appreciate you. Um, can't say thank you enough. Make sure y'all get in the comments because it's about to get crazy tonight. I'm not even going to lie. Some of y'all might get y'all little feelings hurt. <laughs> little feelings. <laughs> it, it's some... You try to be funny with little? A little bit. But they love. <laughs> They'll get it later. <laughs> or, or some people may get their big feelings hurt. We'll see. But anyway... Lucy. Guys, oh, you know, that's why, wait, but that's why I said that. Um, like I did that. So, guys, tonight we have a very special guest. She is special as a general matter, and she's very special to me. Um, I'll, I'll let you introduce yourself before, before we get started. And here, our special guest It's Aaron's big homie. It's me, Dr. Fenwa Milhouse, board certified urologist, your favorite urologist. Doctor down below on TLC. Watch, yes, and I'm here at eight at the table. That is so cute. Oh, thank Doctor you, thank yeah. you. That, so yes. cute. that yes. sounds cute. And your tell me about your practice. Oh yeah, and my practice down there, urology, black owned. Yes, owner, CEO, physician in Chicago. Yes, I love it. Yes, girl. So, yes. Um, so obviously, I think that is pretty like self-explanatory. But for those who did miss the mark, yeah, what is, what is it? Yeah. No, 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 I didn't know what a urologist was until I got to medical school. So no shame if you were like clueless, like what is that? Uh, surgical uh, specialist who specializes in the urinary system. So every part of the so part of the body that makes urine and expels urine, that's me. And then the male reproductive system. So all that private area, that's me. And then also because I did a sub, I did a specialty, a subspecialty, so I did more schooling on top of like a lot of years, a lot of schooling. <laughs> I did more schooling to like master the vulva and the vagina. Yes. We also do with that. So, so you do, oh, so you do all reproductive systems. I do. you handle, I should say. All genitalia stuff. Yes. Wow, that's... And urine making. Yes. And urine making. Yeah, like urine, urine stuff. I have a question. Like pee. pee Do the stuff. booty hole count? The booty hole is not me. Oh. I didn't hear it. That's, that's another person, <laughs> another part. It's not genitalia. <laughs> and I ain't genitalia and it don't make urine. <laughs> <laughs> If it's yes. making urine, that's a problem. So that's dope. All right. So um Let's jump right into it. Y'all, okay. So, I, I, I want to just start off by saying thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. And, y'all, this it, it's actually ironic that she's here today because <laughs> today is, like, my anniversary of being a Delta. I'm not going to say how many years because y'all be trying to clock me. Uh, yes, it looks good, but, you know. <laughs> Um, and I made her. Right. So she's my dean. So shout out to all my soras out there. Delta, Epsilon, Beta, University of Texas. Yes. As a matter of fact, all my University of Texas Greeks, we love y'all. Yes. Thank y'all for tuning in. Yes. Um, ooh, shout out to my line sister. All right. So we'll start. 
<laughs> we'll start. Um, not Some Greek like or something. <laughs> They're annoyed. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's the question. Here's the question. And we've talked about this before, but we've never had like a professional on to like really give us the details and like the real stats and whatnot. So does size matter? So size, uh, it depends on who you're sticking it in. If we're talking about heterosexual sex, um, then really it's more honestly statistically about the girth than the length. Length is wow. really not that big a deal because the pleasure area for a woman is the clitoris um, or just just inside the upper part of the vagina, what we call the anterior vagina. Uh, that's the G-spot area. And it's really, that G-spot area is not that far deep. It's really not that deep. It's very shallow. And so the length of a penis doesn't need to be that long to really get a woman off. Mm. But Girth could make a difference in that, in that it provides more surface area and more contact with the clitoris, with the G-spot area. So you mean to tell me that all my life, these women been having shallow boxes? No, the women don't have shallow boxes. Well, but if you want to get her to come, if you want to get her to orgasm, you need to focus on the, the shallow. Oh. Yes, you need to focus on the vulva, the outside part i.e. the clitoris, and you need to focus on that upper wall, that vagina. So the depth yes. of a woman's... You don't need to be trying to get into her gut. Why not? I'm trying to reach her heart. Because her... Because it means you, you know, wrong, you're doing the wrong thing. That's not what... So some that just creates pressure. Yes. That doesn't... So y'all so women don't like deep strokes? I mean, we I'm, do, but I'm it's confused. also like, don't... <laughs> It's like, do don't, not want the deep don't strokes. Don't rupture my cervix. No. Yeah. Okay. You don't have to touch the cervix. Well, I ain't trying to kill you now, maybe. This is, this is my experience <laughs> when it comes to sex. Like, I feel like sex is always fun no matter what you do. <gasps> right? No, okay. She's, maybe she's still maybe young. not she's still, no matter what you young. do. Yeah. But I feel like those deep strokes that you're talking about, it, it makes sex enjoyable, yes. Does it get her to come? No. You have a point. Oh, okay. I see, you okay, have a I see point. what you're saying. You have okay. a point. Like, well, what is enjoyable about it then? If it ain't making you come, see, like for a guy, it we make, just want to come. It makes you do this. That's, that's what's enjoyable it to us. You, uh, it makes you do yeah. what? I think because you're enjoying because do it again? you're like, <laughs> I wouldn't. In the person, the, the that, person. right? Right. <laughs> it makes you do what? Yeah, I just, yeah, just want to know that he got some inches on him, he got some length. It's not even that. Like, there's a feeling, but. Like, I, I don't, it's not a feeling that is necessarily going to make you have an orgasm. Yeah, so I think that's what it is. There's so difference. the three women on this panel right now, mm -hmm. one being Dr. Milhouse, is telling me a four-incher, a girthy four-incher is good yeah. enough for you. A girthy four-incher is good it enough. It can do the job. Yes. Well, I just, just one yes or no from the women. Yes? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I ain't never had no this four inches, so I can't say. I mean, I, I'm going yes. with science. Uh, what, no, I'm going. I'm no. I need. Says that it'll do the no, job. No, I'm going with yeah. you. I'm it going. Will. I'm going with. All right. So, all right. It'll stress. do the job. What if, is if it? The chemo doctors say you need seven weeks of chemo. I, I ain't finna argue with them. <laughs> I'm not finna argue with the oncologist. So the doctor said four inches. I'm finna go with the phone. That doesn't always mean it's right. The doctors get you know proven no, wrong every really twenty think years. About it, but what I will. <laughs> what so I, many sizes? Exactly, so many sizes. That's actually a good point. And so many but depths. Think about, the, think about the toys. The toys for women. Oh, they like come in different sizes. Some of the best sizes. toys yeah. are not even that deep. That's like some of the best toys aren't that deep. They just know how to like stimulate the clitoris and the G spot simultaneously. If you think about like I, I mean, I love toys. I have this little curved wow. little C thing, and it vibrates on both ends. And baby, that thing. Can get me like that, is and it's it a, not that deep. What yeah. do you mean, C? Like, is it like oh, it's a like a, it's, it's like a U shape. It's shaped like that. Okay, does one does so, one part go inside and one, one part goes on the clit? One part goes inside, and, one, and the part that goes inside doesn't go that deep. You're right. It's, it's like, like this. Like that. You're right. You're actually right. You. And I guarantee you, if all the, any other women in here tried it and put that thing, you guys would be like, oh. I'm telling you. And it's not that deep. Oh, they be singing. <laughs> yes. So y'all got the nerve to shame men with wait, small I think penises. It's Vivo? And you don't oh, even. There's all sorts of Wait, hold on. Wait, wait. Oh, okay. I, need, I need to. I you just... know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yes. It's like a dual vibrator. Yeah. So. But the part that goes inside is, is fat. The part that stays on the glitter. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. 
Go Rico. <laughs> I'm just so confused because like, <laughs> I, like one of the things, there's two things that women do or call men to try to get underneath their skin, right? Yeah, yeah. It's being homosexual or having a small penis. Those are the two go-tos for women, right? Or lame. I don't use that. Mm, well, I'm just saying like in general, right? <laughs> for heterosexual males. Yes. For heterosexual males. Yes, exactly. So now one of them is being small in terms of his genitals. So you mean to tell me all of these jokes that women have made about men with small penises and they're like, hey, well, listen, my G-spot was at the top. Well, but, okay. Go ahead. Well, so I think that that has more so to do with like hurting you where your pride is. Like, mm -hmm. you believe having a big dick is is X. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So it's like, oh, shit, if I know be, like attacking X is a, is a trigger point, then I'm going to attack X. So you mean to Agreed. tell me, we're, we're, we're now running this whole thing right now. I'm just making sure we understand that men should understand whether you are big or small, it doesn't even matter no more. It's literally just a shade at you. When you only need to be a couple inches and just aim that thing up, Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me tell you something. <laughs> right. That like, ain't what she's saying. Wait, wait, wait. Because okay, so the I'm G spot is at the top. Sex. Now, if, I'm look, if I want to look and see something nice, I want a nice, long, and thick penis. Oh, gosh. You know, if, I'm, Aaron, if it's like up. aesthetically, <laughs> aesthetically <laughs> and if I'm talking about putting it in my mouth, then I probably don't want a four inch stump. Put it in your mouth. But you ain't please. You ain't getting no pleasure off your mouth. No, how do you know I'm not getting pleasure out no, of that? No, some people I, are yeah. fine giving oral very yeah. enjoyable. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's enjoyable. It is enjoyable. Yeah. It's they yeah. like to do it. But it's not making sex. you come, though. Maybe. Like, okay, but that's part not... of the warm-up. It's Wait, part of the... Listen, you have to enjoy the journey. <laughs> I was about to yeah. say, Rico, I think I'm thinking about too much. I feel You're like... to the destination too fast. Yeah. As a woman, as we talked about in episodes way ahead of us, it takes a, a while for a woman to come. That's not always. That's because we're trying to go deep and you're telling me that it's in the beginning. Now you're telling me it's up. <laughs> yeah, so realistically, maybe if we just re-navigated to the, to the proper route, we get you there faster too. But that's part of the true. problem. Like one, we don't know. So men don't know that about women. And honestly, a lot women of women don't, don't know. know that about themselves. Correct. So if you don't know about yourself, you can't direct somebody to do that. And then the, mo the more important part is that there's not a conversation. Correct. So it's like, if I know what gets me off, but I'm not expressing that to you, I mean, like, what's, what's the point? So the question is, does size matter? And all three of you had told me no. Well, I, I don't think you said a dimension well, matter. The, well, up to four. Neurologist. Well, all right. But in my opinion, four <laughs> inches is like, no. Dr. Milhouse is the one that is actually a doctor down below yes. for men and women. Yes. And she has a lot of education and study and, and background in this, right? Yes. Which is dope. Because I love this for realistically, you're about to rewrite history. You're about to tell I'm not even gonna lie, I actually agree with Rico. You're this. gonna you're telling a lot of men, <laughs> hey, if you have a We're four inch change the perspective here. Four incher, it's okay if you just aim it up. You just everyone needs to aim it up. Every four inch, six inch, I don't care, two inch, aim it up. So I think that does answer the broad question well, I, about you know, does it's size matter. Aim it up. Because, well, I feel like as long as they know what to do with it and we're telling them yeah. what to do with it. The motion. It's the motion. Exactly. Yes. It is, And that's what some people say and some people were like, no. Oh, no. I, I actually never have much of a comment when it comes to size because, you know, I, I don't handle it. But um, <laughs> <laughs> it's like as long as you know what to do with it, size doesn't matter. Agree. Agree. I do. Mm -hmm. What again, you're doing. This is, I'm not blaming y'all 100%, but there's a lot of well endowed that don't know how to do it. Yeah. And it's part because we have not been able to, to teach that, whether it's because we don't know how to do it either, we don't know what it is, or whether we don't communicate that. So it is, you know, not on the onus of the penis owners. It's the Volvo owners. We have to be able to know our own bodies. And we do not. We haven't ever gotten ourselves off. You know what I'm saying? But there is, you know, there you might have you might have something to say about like, okay, if you're smaller, if you're really if you're thin and small, you might have to work harder. But I will tell you there's enough bad sex happening in well endowed, you know, heterosexual relationships that 
Yeah. You know, you ain't, you, the, the competition ain't that steep. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> mm-hmm. this, there's an orgasm gap. The orgasm gap is real. The orgasm gap is widest among heterosexual sex. Wow. When a woman has sex with a, when a penis is involved, there's an orgasm gap. You know, when the, what the orgasm, so the orgasm gap is meaning that the men are more, have like a 90 plus percent chance of orgasm. Women have like maybe a 60% chance of orgasm. Okay. Now, that gap is less when it's women with women. Women have like an 80 plus percent chance of orgasming, orgasming when they are having sex with another woman. Yeah. So we kind of touched on this and that makes sense because yeah. women know women. Speak about it. And mm-hmm. you know why? Because Rico has life <laughs> mathematics, right? And with life math- mathematics comes wisdom, mm-hmm. right? And it's a beautiful thing. And realistically, yeah. you could just put two and two together because I would assume a woman knows a woman's body more than a man knows a woman's body. Like the accuracy is probably way more accurate than if I had to guess your body. Like mm-hmm. I would assume not saying that this is a thing, but you and Aaron could probably figure each other out a lot oh, faster <laughs> than... I do like chocolate. Uh, then, she is cute, too. Right? She, yes. Well, yes. well minds are wandering. Don't forget, well, they're sisters. <laughs> <laughs> but you get what I'm saying. You get where I'm going. So it makes sense. I, I wouldn't, I would not put that past that in terms well, of a difference. I ask a question and based on what he's saying, do you think it's because a woman may have more confidence communicating to another woman or is it because that woman actually knows a woman's body more? I think it's, I think it's a, the I first. Think it's I think be like the, the confidence. I think it's a confidence of communicating. Okay. I think the communication is probably easier with another woman to be like, let's do this, let's try this. Oh, do this. You see what I'm saying? Versus mm-hmm. communicating that with a man. Mm-hmm. Well, let's ask Amanda. So Amanda, right? <laughs> when you first had your first orgasm with, another woman right was it more what do you feel as if there was a lot of communication during that process or was it more of a lot of just kind of knowing the body and knowing really woman to woman i think it was just more so knowing woman to thank woman. you because you know i no, love life no but rico i'm not saying that not the so, communication i, I don't, is I don't not yeah. there because it's very easy they to don't ever want me to be fully right woman, right but <laughs> The fact that we do know each other's bodies mm-hmm. because we are the same gender does play a huge part. Because the first time I ever had an orgasm with another woman, I didn't have to say a damn thing. I was just like, whoa, Listen, let's look, you know look what you're me. doing. This thing right here is different. But did you have an <laughs> orgasm with yourself? Like Before had, that? Yes. Actually, yeah, but only through toys. Okay. But still, I mean, yeah. That's... Dr. Milhouse. I feel like there's... W- I feel like there are women, <laughs> that have never had an orgasm, even with themselves. So how would they even know what? That's the crazy part. Yeah, I know. It sounds crazy. That's how I, but yeah. honestly, yeah. and not to be like shady, but that's how I felt when I used to be having sex with guys. I was just like, like I don't know what an orgasm is. Mm, like, and I don't really that's think that orgasm that's, gap. Wow. I'm having that. Because he don't know your body. That orgasm. <laughs> because and honestly, and this was when I was having sex consistently with the same person for almost three years and I was like I don't know what an orgasm is after I got it out of that relationship that's when I started using toys and that's mm-hmm. when I figured out what an orgasm mm-hmm. and I was like yeah I definitely never felt this before mm-hmm. yeah. the, your story is but listen her story is literally a, gazillion of Volvo owners that deal that have that I mean it's not a, it's not an aberration you know, because we have focused so much as sex being penetration, penis in vagina, not we have totally neglected the clitoris, which is like the holy grail for the for orgasming for like 85 percent. Yeah, 85 percent or more of women can't even orgasm without clitoral stim- stimulation. So let me ask you a question, Dr. Milhouse. Y'all focusing on getting it in my gut. Because no, yeah, I feel like that's right. That, that's a big male misconception because they're just so worried about like hitting it. Hit. Yes. I feel like I just said this in the the only eighteen percent. Eighteen percent of women are able to have an orgasm vaginally. Thank you. Eighteen percent. Well, give me those eighteen. 
Because the other one seems like it's too much I mean, work. But you got to think about like but, how small that percentage is. No, no, I understand. But there's a small percentage in people with money too, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so let's be real. Okay, let me ask you this question. With all this being said, right, there are now men, and I would, I would argue that it is because of women public expectations on men being bigger that men end up going underneath the knife to become bigger. Mm -hmm. So um, with that being said, what is that your, what is your experience on that? Yeah. I mean, we live in a world where enhancements are being, you know, are more and more. I mean, we have, we live BBLs, you know, for bigger booties. And breast, BDLs. And we now have BDLs. Yeah. Like the new <laughs> BBL is, you know, bigger dicks, girthier, length that sort of stuff it's it's here to, it's 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 here it's just gonna get more accepted. what is the technology like what is it is it to so, make you longer or girthier so or girthier is, is easier than lengthening i mean okay. lengthening adding length is is more complicated adding girth this way is a little bit easier um a lot of the stuff there are some stuff that promise you things that are like false so there's obviously like pills and stuff like take me and you can get you know two inches i mean any pill or any medicine like you taking my mouth is it's it's like is it's not gonna do shit okay but there's um girth you heard it from dr millhouse yes it ain't gonna <laughs> do nothing there's girth enhancement in the form of injections we can inject fillers like they put in your face in your oh, lips your lip. oh fillers yeah. that's probably the safest way but you have to redo those don't you you do they don't yeah, because last they don't last they don't last i mean so how often do i gotta get a shot in my like a year maybe penis, penis. Every year? Um, like every, like every, well, to maintain it, if you want to maintain it every year, every 12 to 18 months, if you yeah. don't ever, it'll probably be three years you'll get. At most. So, yeah. so let me ask you this question. After I go ahead and not me, but after Chuck goes <laughs> ahead and Chuck just decides he get. Chico. No, 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 we're going with Chuck. Relax. I'm yeah. literally going to say Chico too. And, uh, after Chuck. Goes and gets, <laughs> uh, goes and gets his um, needle. Penis. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Can he use it the same day? No, no. I was about to three say days. it has to be three days. So he has to he has to duck I off. Can imagine for no <laughs> injections in a penis, and you can use it right away. It's yeah. You can't use it right away. What do you just dead? You just deaden it and stick it right. Like it's yeah, not I mean, a big it doesn't deal. change the function. You can what, like, you still get things? an erect. It does. The fillers don't change the function, so it still gets erect. We just don't, you know, you just don't want to be using it right away because we just filled it up and we don't want the, the filler to move and, and mm -hmm. like. You, you know, want me to have like, a lopsided, yeah, we <laughs> lopsided don't want to be, like, clumpy and lumpy. You have to like. My shit got matte. My shit look like this. My shit look like anal beads. Like, <laughs> feel good. Well, I was going to say, that might be, that might that be, might be like, right. a nice ride. <laughs> you know, yeah, what happened? Like, yeah. Filler is like. Really, yes. Like, yes. To, yes. Because it wants to be, you want it to be cause aesthetic, right? You don't yeah. want it to be uneven or whatever yeah so it is an art and we Imagine you know we, we you use like a filler up at the top and yeah yeah can you fill the head the like like my question is if i'm just thinking about my own shit yeah. you know what i'm saying if you feel the sides yeah, yeah, right yeah, the head. and then my head is at the top and my shit kind of look like crazily like not proportional you have you bring up a good point actually um so if trying to get filling, filling up the head <laughs> can be done i don't need no filler it can be done there is a small risk of decreased sensation at the head. You know, the head is where most of the, uh, you know, sensation. That might help them last longer. Yes, but also we don't want to take away sensation that. So there's a small risk of decreased sensation when, with fillers of the head. Again, if it's hyaluronic acid fillers, which is, the, which is the most common fillers used for, like, facial stuff. It's the one that dissolves over time. It's the safest. Then these risks are very, very. If you are injecting permanent fillers, there are permanent fillers. Oh. Then when ish goes wrong, we have to cut the shit out. Wait, cut yes. the filler out? Yeah. So, so you have whoa, to whoa. cut the penis? Yes. Wait, oh. I'm so confused. Yeah. Don't get it, Rico. Is, is that is, common? I mean, not it's not common, but I've seen patients like that. Yes. Yeah. Oh, they wow. get I mean it's it all it's all it's all of it is off label, I will say. Like none of this is on label. Oh, what okay. The would define, define oh, okay, 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 okay. Anyway, but we do off-label stuff in medicine all the time. But permanent fillers, when ish goes wrong, like it has to be cut out. When this 
filler dissolve, where the hell does it go? Your body your pee. It, it just like I don't like I don't know if it goes like you just just dissolve into my body somewhere. Yeah, I got fillers in my brain. That's probably why oh, I think I'm. No. I don't. I don't actually. Don't know where like it ends up being. They didn't teach you that but, part. No, I. I, 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 I metabolize. You metabolize it somehow. I don't know I'm if you pee it out or poop it I'm out. Or whatever. Say it's probably yeah. in your. It just, yeah. I'm gonna say it come so out. So something of you. that was in my dick just miraculously <laughs> ended up in my no, stomach. No, no you're talking about. Y'all just, just, just be. Y'all just be making shit. Aaron, do your uh, disclaimer if you've got a filler. <laughs> do go ahead, do it. <laughs> <laughs> but okay so all right all right and go fat ahead <laughs> too fat is another thing you know how like BBLs fat, yeah, are yeah. fat trans so like i got a little bit right here so if i went to use this you can put a you can put fat in your penis yes you can. oh is that more permanent that's more permanent although it can still like it can over time like you know how bbls can sometimes the fat can you know you can shift. work it out or shift or whatever so yeah it's more permanent Wow. Yeah. Is, is that it a is better? Is it, oh, um, wait, wait, more dangerous? It is because you can get fat potentially in a blood vessel. And that oh. Is bad, bad. Is that like the same thing that happens with a BBL? Yes. How, oh, okay, yes. okay, okay, okay. Bad, risk, bad in the sense of like, you might have to cut my whole bad, thing Bad, bad, like you could die. <laughs> risk worth the reward. <laughs> oh. <laughs> because That's the same thing that people get BBLs and boobs, but right? Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? You have to think about the same thing. It's not, these people aren't talking about function. They want a, they want a they more want something that looks aesthetic. aesthetically yeah. pleasing. Yeah, yeah, but it only looks aesthetically pleasing because y'all told us that there was a certain size that was okay, but I don't really. I think we told you guys that. You don't think, I think so? you guys. Yeah, I think that's more of a, a man thing. You think men was just like, yo, like, hey, bro, my dick is eight inches. He's like, well, damn, I need to go get an injection. No, well, no. let's be for real. You guys be comparing decks. Yeah. Ooh, what? Yo, y'all are not men. No, <laughs> never have y'all ever had a dick. Yo, like... look, Amanda, listen. <laughs> you don't have a penis. So you did not know. walk around with one. You did not have friends that had one while you had one. I have a lot of friends that have penis. <laughs> that had one while you had one. <laughs> right? So what I what I will say is me and everyone have never Taco. compared our dicks to each other. But porn, porn is part of the problem, though. Exactly. Is porn problem. is a huge because, problem yeah, because everybody's comparing Everybody themselves unnecessarily to these porn them. artists. Nah, yeah. but I know that's just TV, and TV is TV. I am saying, you know, yeah. that it's exaggerated. Someone being yeah. on a podcast on uh, about love. Sex I know being on. Yeah, you do know because we talk about it often, but. Other people, people that sit home know. and watch porn. I've been all watching porn since I was like twelve. And are like self shaming <laughs> and they're feeling insecure about their really bodies 10, but, uh, and their penis size. Of course, they're gonna be like, "Well, you know, this person that I'm seeing have like this great sex, and I don't have a penis that big. I need my penis to be like that for it to be enjoyable, or for me to be doing the things to a woman that that." porn star is doing to that girl in the, True. the video. She's, yeah, that, she's that, speaking facts. Yeah, that's facts for people who were born in 1980s and maybe 1990s. 1980s. No, 1980s to 1980s. <laughs> We weren't watching porn at ten and twelve. Can I give you? Can I give you the time? Can I give you the time frame first, Doctor Milhouse? Relax. We we could barely get porn. Relax. Listen, (laughs) that was three channels. That was true for the people who were born in the nineteen eighties to nineteen ninety five ish, because you grew up not knowing that. Porn was exaggerated and fake. If you tell me that somebody who was born in two thousand, no, I would. Ag- I disagree. I think it's completely opposite. We all I know porn the, is fake now. I, no, I don't. I think that well, it's nowadays, gotten more useful. No, I, no, I think nowadays the young people. No, I think our nineteen eighties. We discovered sex without porn. You know what I'm saying? Porn came later, and so we knew that sex and like porn sex was different than real sex. I think nowadays. These kids are growing up with porn being their their introduction right. before they even get into a penis, before they even get into a vagina. You see what I'm saying? So they don't even, their perception of sexual relations is distorted. But their porn that they're watching now is nowhere near as exaggerated as it was before. It's more. Hell what? no. I was, <laughs> they, they was using videotapes back then. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say, I believe like in the 80s, you guys were more like, Porn on tape. 
Yes. I had to go in the video store in the section where the curtains was closed Don't and you couldn't. You had to get somebody That's to buy it for you. Wow. <laughs> I think what I was the arch is True, real. It depends. You all you have to do is. I have a long. A lot. I don't even want to disclose that number. But what I will say is, if they you were sex go workers. down to Miami, right? Look, you go down to Miami in March workers. and April. You go down to Miami in March and April. There's a lot of curves out there. There's a lot of arches. <laughs> I mean, see, at this point, I don't know what is faking who. I, 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 I'm enjoying it. I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm happy, and if I'm happy, that's all that matters. Wait, wait, wait. but see, boy, but see, and, <laughs> and that boy, like, guys, no, you wanted to lie to me, <laughs> and that is the problem. That is literally the problem. No, he was yes. fronting on the other episode, though. Yeah. He was fronting, like. I have a short torso, right, and I can't do it. I have a long torso. <laughs> that shit is like. Shout out to the long torso girly. Mm. Well, okay, I'll say this. Well, so, we don't know no, that, no, Rico. No, no, no. This is the thing. I don't know that until no. she tells me. This is the thing. I think there are parts, when you have sex, I think there are parts Alan. when the woman is going to have her enjoyment, mm -hmm. the man is going to have his enjoyment, and then they're both going to enjoy it together. I love because, that. Because, like, when, when Alan was just talking about, like, the 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 the, the back or whatever. The arch? Yeah, yeah. sorry. Um, that may wait, hold on, Aaron. Are you familiar with an arch? <laughs> no, nigga, I fuck with a straight back. <laughs> I don't know, cause you said the back or whatever. I was kind of trying to. Like, I was kind of worried for a second. I'm trying it's to like. A, I'm trying to. I couldn't find the word. But what I'm saying like, is that. Bend the fuck down. I think that we. I, th this all comes back to communication, because like if, if you're in a situation with somebody and yeah, like straight back is crazy, bro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I had one of those. It's not okay, bro. I mean, that this, shit is traumatizing. This is the thing. Like, well, okay, and that's a part. Like, a if you back. are with somebody and they got a straight back and you don't stop saying say anything that, bro. To like, you can't make them arch. They have no flexibility of, in their spine. Turn around and say you got a little dick because because <laughs> you could eat it right. Because exactly. like, no, your back is too high, shorty. Okay, wait a second. Your shit is like this. You look like hunchback. <laughs> on one position. I'm just saying, was it, you get it? You can flip her over and exactly like there. there I, there's uh, other. This goes I back to when you don't like, like it that much. It. You don't even want to oh, see it. Yeah, I don't want to see it. Let's just get this over that's with. That's the problem. That's why your shit like this. <laughs> that's the problem, though. Okay, but like, we we honestly and and I again I go back to like the onus is on the woman really like we really have to be and I understand that. There's a certain level of shame that comes mm -hmm. with it in a certain what, in a certain level of like ridicule. No, a certain level of ridicule that comes with being like open and like free to just like say, yo, this is what I like. Agree. You yo, know, agree. so it's like so. So this is the thing. I, I, I want women to like have a space to emote and say what they what, what they want. But I understand that, like, there's a consequence. You know what so. I think is, it sounds great. And I'm not, a, and I don't disagree with it. But I don't think it's men that's the problem. I think it'd be other women. I don't Never think. really wait, 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 about the men. I don't, I don't think, think. Wait, wait, hold on. I don't, I don't you think have that, to say men are some of the problems. Wait, wait, what I say. No, no, I'm talking about and being confident and saying what you like. It's not men that's the problem. I would think that if it would be like a group of girls and the girl's like, totally yeah. Totally men are the problem. Dude, if you try to tell a man. Okay, let's do it like that. Maybe we let's, talk amongst let's, ourselves. Let's use a toy. I mean, you try to tell a man, let's, can we use, you know, why we do, oh, no, oh, they why hate we got to, they oh. hate Yeah. That. Wait, I'm let's not. Let's talk about that. I'm not talking about that, though. We no, could, but that's what. We no, could I, jump, I, we could jump no, right no, into but that. But that's what we talking about. No, no, that's what we talking about. No, no, no. That's what we talking about. No, no. That's what y'all took it to. by the toys. No, no. First of all, I'm not. I'll bring it with me. That's one. Two, toys? yeah, I'll bring it with me. Come on, we. You know I'm saying, hey, here's they're, a little vibrator, new, right? Here's a butt plug. Yeah, you know I'm saying, yeah, yeah, of course. Don't be using the old toy on the old. It depends if I really like it. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> but what I'm saying I is, see it fresh out the box. What I'm <laughs> package, right? <laughs> what I'm saying is, we're talking about the onus of a woman being confident and saying what she likes. Yes. Now here's the thing, I don't think that if a girl met a guy who had a four inch Jimmy. Correct. Yes. What, what? What? Sorry. There's. I'm oh. a urologist, right. so right. oh, that, that's a difference. Yeah. Flaccid. Okay. Uh, what? Okay. 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 Well, okay. 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 So a guy has like a me and my little rower, <laughs> right? That means that's his max potential. Yeah. Okay. If a girl was with the guy and he had a four inch erect, and she said, "Babe, listen, 
this is all I need. This is perfect for me, right? But then, let's say she goes amongst her friends. And one of her friends, she got Dr. Milhouse talking about, yeah, I got a Nigerian guy who got that eight-inch slammer. <laughs> and she's like, well, damn. She's like, well, yeah, so what's, what's your what's <laughs> Like, that's, I'm just that's, saying. That's a, the eight saw, inch slammer? Slammer. That's, that's, a, that's, that's, a, that's a guy Nigerian thing. Friends, huh? oh, yeah, that's yeah. A, y'all be comparing, she's right? She's Nigerian. That's why I said that, bro. And we don't. That's the thing. Y'all be talking about that. <laughs> we, we don't be doing that. So, yo, women never talk about the, the, their spouses. No. Not their, you know. Our spouse? No. Not their spouse, but like your boyfriend. Y'all never talk no. about. Y'all talk oh, about your girlfriend. We talk about do what you. I guess girls be lying. No. You, you talk about all the time. To share. I'm like, yo, my girl shit is. What? Why would you, you say, say that? that? No, Rico. No, no, Rico. What you say? Wait, then you... they want to try it. Yeah. That's what happens. No, we. No, no. What? what? No way. I think. I, th- I think we talk listen. about somebody. We don't mind sh- being shared. Exactly. Yo, listen. Thank we. You. Well, I guess really me and my friend group we're very close. I guess it's uh, a little different. I don't know. I don't have no worries about my friends trying to have sex with my girl. Probably fucking your ex bitches right now. <laughs> but they already know that's a rule. We can do all that. We, we all can, you can do that? Yeah, that's a rule. Oh, y'all. We can have each other's exes. Y'all we don't really care. Oh, yeah. really? I mean, if they did it, they, they did it. definitely be... Uh, then I know... Look, God. then I know... <laughs> Yo, no, I don't. Care. But he's, I don't. He's saying they definitely like, comparing dick sizes. Yeah. Okay. Well, what about two back? <laughs> two, two back. Like you worry about one back. What about two back? Okay. Other niggas. Are you worried? Like, he's, right he's, he's too far gone. He's too far gone. No, but two back, you can double back. So I'm just, I'm, I'm. I'm <laughs> but if, if, you can always hit again. So why? Wait, wait. So and that's the point. So if if you land it down good, why are you worried about the first back? And he might just slip up an axe. Insecure so. self. <laughs> you got you got you got to innovate. You got to think on your feet. <laughs> because say you got to innovate. You got to think on your feet. I got to hit it with some shit I know I ain't even do before. Let's talk about goals and shoulders. Your signature is probably not signature. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, so growers. You think every guy hits you with this? All right, growers and showers. Growers and showers. So Please. showers have it. You know, it's like, you know, you see the print. That is you know so what I'm funny. saying? Through the jeans. <laughs> what was it? It's like, it's right there. That shit is the same. You know and what you're dealing yeah, with. Yeah, you know what you're doing. With <laughs> you just imagine that same length erect, maybe a little bit wider. I like a little surprise. Yeah. You like a little surprise. But then, growers are like. They have the shrinkage, you know what I'm saying? Oh! You just be careful. But now. but then they blossom. <laughs> they blossom. It's like a butterfly. Yeah, it's like we come out of our cocoon and blossom. fly away. Yes. Like a tulip. Yes. No, I, no, no, no. I think we know what growers and showers are. Yeah. Yo, but do y'all ever get confused or you think like no? Oh, no, do y'all ever get confused? Oh yeah. No. Way, okay. A, a grower could go from two inches to a grower can. I think we could tell the. I mean, I don't, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I can't answer this question. Wait, wait, Dean, tell him what a grow in the show is. Your okay. own experience is different. My, yeah. my yeah. own experience is different. So a grower, it looks, it's like you know, it's like kind of like trunk, like a turtle. Yeah, it's like a turtle. A turtle, yeah. turtle. It looks, it's like a little, you know, <laughs> then you got like an accordion. It's accordion. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Okay. It looks accordion. You right. can see. You can see it. You can. Yeah. You can see where it. it you can see the potential. Yeah, you could potentially see like the ripples, like the cordy. <laughs> okay, and then uh, obviously, but the but the the shower, it it's just like this schlong that's right that's there. The what? <laughs> schlong. The schlong. It's just like hanging. That's yes. I don't know. I like yeah. a little. I like it's a little the surprise. It's the I, warrior. It's the Aztec warrior. Because <laughs> the thing is that, like, when, when you have a shower, there's far more there's not a, growers than there are showers. There's not a lot more to expect. True. Yeah. Like yeah. I like a little surprise. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you know when you when you get yeah. like a you know, like like a dozen. You have a dozen, and then you have a baker's dozen. <laughs> Give me the baker's dozen. You know what I'm saying? Like a little land yeah. You have know. to ex- you have to um, explain that to me. I'm- so a baker's dozen. I think it's like I think a baker's dozen is like thirteen or fourteen oh, okay. or something. Okay. A little extra. Right. Uh, 
So, okay. it's, so, a so extra. yeah. So, like in Louisiana, it's called land yap. <laughs> land yap is extra. So a baker's dozen is 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 extra <laughs> beyond the. So you're like fourteen and twelve, 12. Eggs, Yeah. Okay. So give me a little a little, little fun. A little you know what I'm saying? A little fun. <laughs> a little right. razzle dazzle. Yeah. Like give me give me a little razzle dazzle. Like what is yes. it? Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> yes. because think about it. When you have a sh- a, a shower. The shower is showing you everything you got. You but know do you saying? ever think like, like that's that was my main question, which you kind of answered from your perspective, right? Yeah. So do you ever think like, okay, this is a shower, but no, 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 somebody's a shower, but you think that they're a grower on they're top not. of that, but that they, they showed you what they <laughs> they showed you. And you're like, oh, that that's all you got. <laughs> you're like, wait. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I can't answer that because. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of non erect penises in my in my practice. Wait, they don't get hard ever. In, they, in do, work? they do. They no, do. The ones. Well, how you doing, Serge? How you know it's going to look like in the final product, and you're doing it in the beginning stages? What we're doing is increasing flaccid girth and and, and that sort of stuff. We're not we're we're not. None of the penile enhancement things are to enhance erect erect penises. Oh, that makes sense. That's okay. so upsetting. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think about that, but that that's makes so sense. None so of them all- are too. That's very important to know. None of them, they're basically, and this is what I say, is like basically we're here to make, those are here to make growers into showers. It has nothing to do with erect look. So it's like yeah. fake jewelry. It looks yeah. <laughs> That's what you're telling me. Yeah, it's Just, like. It looks it's, real. Um, flaccid. Yes. Stage. Correct. It looks bigger. Correct. Where does what it go? Waste. Wait, so that's what he said. Where, he said, "What a waste." <laughs> what a wait. Where does it go? So, like, if it, like, like, the thing is because we can't. <laughs> erections are about blood flow, and that blood does. It a, can change. It, it's it's t- totally dynamic, and we can't. We don't. We can't augment that with fillers or surgery. You see what I'm saying? And so the length is going to be very different with it erect. Now the girth, if we make a a penis girthier, then the erect girth is gonna be girthier too. So girth wise, yes. Oh, we so might the whole thing will change. To okay. Manipulate. Manipulate that a little bit. But that's not the primary goal. Yeah, that's the save. That's the easier one and the savior. So if one. I was like, yo, listen, I'm six inches. I wanna be eight inches. Can you like, add it? Yeah. Can you add it to? To the we can add it to the to the flaccid length. <laughs> Wait, so you can't I'm but all right. not to your erect length. Because the erect length, it can change. It's, it's, but it's, where it's does it go it once the blood? blood? Because your flaccid length is without blood, okay? Your uh. erect length is with the blood filling up the, the columns in your penis. We can't augment that. Can you add more columns? No, we can't. So I get some more blood? No, no. <laughs> well, 18% of women love it love it long. And we I like wanna... to look at it long. Yeah. I think what we'd like is we like to look visual. at it long. We like the visual. Like, I ain't going to lie. Yeah. The visual is very nice. Okay. We like the visual, but what's going to get <laughs> us? Yes, but what's yeah. going to get us off is not the length. It's the it's the girth. It's the vibrator. Yeah, the mouth do. It's the be- just bring yes. the vibrator. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> but like, like, no, do. I say what their mouth do. Yes. yes. So you need it's length to touch a throat. It's the folk length. No. To touch the throat. I'm just talking. Your mouth is bigger than four inches. Huh? What are we saying? Go like oh, this. Ah. Uh, I'm oh, sorry. I'm confused. Come on, okay. Doctor Millhouse. Thank you. My mouth. Okay, fine. All right. Um. Well, no, I don't. I mean, oh, that's a wholly different subject. But no, if you either. never had your well, shit bending her, her throat, throat, you don't know what I'm talking about. I do, I do. Yeah, that's, that's Some a women, whole, that's a whole different type of woman, though. What? Like, I mean, so that likes. I mean, I, I you know, I like oral sex. I'm not gonna very married, and I like it. But um, but that's a whole different conversation. I'm so glad you're here. Yeah. I have a question. Is yes. there a certain type of, like, is there a profile of a woman who typically likes oh. giving head? Because I mean, I, yeah. Go ahead. Because you what? She's just, 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 I think I like sucking dick. <laughs> I do too. I love this. Ah! This is my favorite <laughs> podcast, talk show. <laughs> uh, with the straight back. I haven't, I haven't had heterosexual <laughs> sex in a while. That shit is crazy. I mean, what like, are you doing? <laughs> like, you three women, one, two, three, that said they enjoy. I would love to see, well, obviously I can't, but. I would love to have an arch test 
I was like, like. What does that have to do with anything we're talking about? No, no, no. I'm still focused on the other shit. Yeah, like, you, are, you are focused on that. But shit I love, back. I love that. I love that for you. I think it's because of the. You know what today. it is? I don't know what the are the, but I think a woman who understands the power that you have. Oh, mouth, that makes sense. You know yeah. what I'm saying, and how that can be a turn on. It's crazy. It's, that's that's what I want. Like, like if you're out there and you're like, oh, I can't. It's so gross. I want you to just. Like it's not gross. It is power, okay? And that power is a turn on. Yeah, yes. yeah. You tell her. I'm telling that. Wait, wait, wait. We have Lonnie yes. to say something. So we have a new Eight After Dark exclusive member, Stacy. Thank you. We <laughs> might have that dark <laughs> contest on Eight After Dark one of these days. So uh, look out. You got to be a part of it on the exclusive. <laughs> okay. Rico, I know you want Stacy's mom. You don't know that song? Lani. Lani. No, what Lani? It's an old song. Yeah, it's old. We weren't talking about arches. No one was talking about arches. Literally, nobody was talking about arches. But y'all said, like, you did that. It was all you. What'd I say? Like, yeah, he's doing it from the back. Like, when I was like, the back? Where's the arch? Like, that was. Why was that non existent? <laughs> Stop doing that. I couldn't think of the word. I've seen that in real life and it's <laughs> fucked me up. <laughs> you ain't never been a guy and hit a girl. What does straight back look like? It's not even straight. <laughs> It's, no, actually, it's Humpty it Dumpty. Like, like, <laughs> you ever seen Quasi? You ever seen? Yeah, you, you ever seen Quasimodo? You ever seen Quasimodo? <laughs> wait, who's there's a lot of there's a lot of you. <laughs> wait, you said the hunchback of Notre Dame? Yeah, I said Quasimodo. <laughs> wait, what is concave and convex? That's yeah, concave. That's concave. Yes. <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> it's the other one. Come back. Yo, uh, by the way, Amanda, Michael, yo, Amanda, Michael Matroke is like, Mike. Michael is checking for Amanda. <laughs> you know, Michael Matroke, he's in New York. All right. He's in New York. He's one of our moderators. Hey, Mike. Okay. Mm. Hey. Wait, so, okay, so this is the thing. I think w women, we need to understand what convex and concave is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We, we need to be con. Vex. Hey, vex? Yes. Convex. Yes. I know. Right. Let me know, Marie. Can it? you Google it? We need to be convex. <laughs> Because concave is like this, concave right? Is, uh, yeah. Right, yeah, concave, concave is like this. It's like this. It's hunchback. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of people who had concave chest. Yeah. Well, seriously. <laughs> seriously. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, this up. bitch be talking all the time. Don't nobody be talking to her. Nobody's talking to you. Yeah, so when you're talking about concave, you're talking about... Yes, thank the you. The hunchback right. of Notre Dame. Yes, Notre, Notre Dame. Yeah. Quasi Wait, so we want convex. Yeah, that's what we said. We need, con we we need want not want. Okay. We need. You so need... <laughs> Okay, guys, perfect. Listen, perfect. Perfect. A little science, but You're not little, in the mic. So, oh, <laughs> fuck. A little perfect. science. So we need a little convex Vex. and not concave. concave. Yeah. Right? Anti. A little. So we need <laughs> convex. Arch that back. And not Bring your concave. All right? Yeah. Arch that back. All right. Is there like. A I we, love we, this you show. Know, we need, you know what? Sci, you know what? We're making science cool. Here we are. Yeah. There's a way to like uh, STEM, a, STEM. You know, women in STEM. Back. Black women in STEM. Back. This is the one percenters. Yes. Right. I'm lost. Black women where in do STEM. We, where did we just go? I don't know where Bonnie, we went. You okay. <laughs> Where do we no, go? No, because we're promoting we're, black women in STEM. We're talking about concave, convex. What's STEM? It's educational STEM is science, science, technology, engineering, yeah. and math. Math, math. yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. starch. No, STEM. Science, technology, and arch. That's all we <laughs> need. That's, that's all we need. <laughs> that's all. Right, you, you're definitely smart. Okay, that, real quick. It's actually pretty arch. new. Oh my God. Thank okay. you. That's a good arch. That's, yeah. that's a great arch. That Whoa, so let me see mean. that. In real that, talk, like you have to stretch. That's a, that's a, that's, that's a, I, a stretch. that's a, I give you a baby arch. That's, that's a, that's a really that's good a, arch. That's a, I love you arch. That's come in me. Arch. Yeah. You gotta stretch. I don't, right now. That's a, you can take it all arch. You probably will get flagged. You think so? I think so. Why? 
Um, if I'm arching like that, come at me. Oh my God, that's a lot of arch. arch I would back. love for all the women on here to rate their arches from one to ten. <laughs> Drop a comment below. Nine. Nine. <laughs> because nobody is perfect, so nine. Is this good for you? Yo, wait, Amanda. What would you wait, Amanda? What would you rate right. your arch? Point nine, nine, nine. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What's so your my arch? Is probably like a seven. Right now? Nope. No, no. sevens. No sevens. Kevin I Samuels. Kevin Samuels seven. says no sevens. Yeah. All right. Is it a six or an eight? Yes. I'm going to eight, bitch. Yeah. Nope. Uh, it's a six. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Milhouse, if you don't mind, what would you rate your arch? Honey, don't hate me. I think my arch is a nine. Okay. Wait, why would no? He should be happy. He should be proud. Very happy. He got right. a nine. He got a niner. Yes. Right. That's great. Oh, I'm definitely a nine. Yes. <laughs> I love this show. Only because I know ten. Like I can't be perfect. Yeah. So. Is, is that a ten? Is, like, okay. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Is the one that Alan that showed? That's a ten. That's a ten. That was a ten. For no, me. that's a, that's a, just ten. Right. No, yeah, that's good. Oh, you're definitely that was really good. Amanda, you're definitely a six. <laughs> you're definitely a six. I believe in you. I have a long torso, okay? And so what happens? I do too. You should have a long arch. No, it is hard for me. It's, it's to be easier, my right? that deep like that because my back is so long. Uh -huh. I'm not going to lie. I have a long torso too, so I get it. No, it's not easier. Are you can. Keith? You gotta. <laughs> she said she knew it because she did it. Because she was like, <laughs> "Wait a minute, guys! Wait, reminder, wait, reminder." Wait, so wait, you want to set time out? Wait, Rico. Time out. You knew it because you did it. Yeah. Come on, you didn't have to. Sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Amanda. Wait, Rico. No, 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 no. We got. No, no. Let's let's give a reminder to the people, guys. Remember, convex. Convex is what you want, <laughs> right? No, no. no, no. Convex. convex is what you yeah, yeah, yeah. want. No. Convex, convex is the arch. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So convex, convex is the arch. Convex is a yes. Yes. Concave. Concave. Is a super no, dog. Is a no. <laughs> so all my concave What does that do? <laughs> just work on it. Can you don't, let, don't even let them but, No, I agree. I agree. Can you guys okay. We don't even have concave statues. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah, this right. is a convexed right here. It is. Right. This is <laughs> right there. Yeah. You got to have this so arch. Up. You don't have to oh. tell You got to have the arch. Tell us what that does for y'all. Like, we want to know. Regular. Like, what is it about it that turns well, you guys on? What does it do for the, like... No, I could do that. Yeah. yeah. I could do that. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Oh, it it really... Because it, it makes the like button. It opens... It, like, opens everything up. So, like, think about your... Like her ass cheeks are up, so yes. that means more likely than not, her hole is a little bit higher. If she's concave, that means her ass cheeks are like this. So now I kind of got to scoop, get up under there, like, <laughs> and, <laughs> and I, I got, I got to hit it from the bottom up. up. So you're trying to fuck and I do ass. think I'm that trying, this I'm brings like, the penis <laughs> I mean, I where it should be. It First brings all, the penis closer to no, no. the to the clitoris. It's the bounce back. That bounce back is crazy. That's velocity. all. That, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait a minute. Well, I hope Wait. Not physics. physics. I hope. Wait, 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 wait. Nah. Guys, 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 guys. Alan has not hit a concave in a while. Guys, you don't know what it's like. No, no, no. Guys. Guys. Yo, this is the best show in America. Wait, wait, wait. When, oh, no, <laughs> when did Alan become a fucking scientist? Because yeah. <laughs> he said physics yes. and velocity. Alan said, oh, Alan said the word Alan. Alan. velocity is crazy. You mean the bounce back of the booty? No, all right, think what? About it, right? think about oh, it. shit. If I swing like this, you see how much energy that takes? Uh huh. If I swing like this, physics lesson. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. What's the equation for that? What's the What's the equation? Yeah, like clitoris. Yeah, that's it. He's right. You gotta go from underneath. What you? I'm like, <laughs> you mean okay. get your husband. Get your and husband. so, look, this what part. Was, really? Like, this is where, this like, story, and, okay. when she has an arch, okay? this is when you can definitely <laughs> cuff, cuff it right here and just keep bringing it right back. You means not even oh, looking up. Arch. You gotta. <laughs> you like, really gotta get up underneath a little bit. <laughs> Yumi, okay? Are you embarrassed, Are you embarrassed right now? I'm like, get your dying. Husband. Yumi's like, I'll deal with this shit when I leave. Yes, <laughs> Yumi's like, I'll show you an arch. Yes. <laughs> Bitch. But what I'm saying is, I think the 
the arch brings the penis in better up, like where it needs to be, yes, right? With the clitoris for the, I so agree. I think it's a win-win situation. So all kind uh, caved women, Amanda included, yeah. you guys should try hot yeah. yoga. Hot yoga is great what? for stretching and becoming more flexible. I do love hot That's yoga. actually true. And then that might that though, might loosen up your more than anybody you probably ever fucked in your fucking life. So <laughs> just relax. You never did hot yoga though. That's, no, big, no, big, yes, big, you do. Room. You turn your six to an eight. I already told she you. Already, <laughs> <it's just laughs> eight. Exactly. Amanda, tell him you are ten. That's Don't eight. lie. We're not gonna lie. We got two oh. experts that gave themselves nine. All right. So just shut up, then. <laughs> There's always room for improvement. Yeah, like relax. <laughs> Lonnie, are you a uh, one to ten? Why are you Why are you fucking with Lonnie right now? Nine point nine nine nine. Okay, yeah, she's Dominican. Yeah, she, I believe her. Wait, no, Lonnie said that shit like ten minutes ago too. Yes. <laughs> yeah, nine point nine nine nine. Yeah. Damn, I I'm I, that I missed a lot. I missed. That. You was just born loose. Actually, I don't know. I I think that there are certain things with, with respect to a man that's gonna trigger him, and and there's the an, an equal amount of things that are gonna trigger a woman. So I don't know if it's like a a, a, a certain whatever, but it's like what you say to the man or what you say to the woman. You like, oh, with your little dick ass. Yeah, that's gonna attack a man because that's what he feels is like his where he gets worth from. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Or if you tell a woman, oh, with your little ass titties. There's a lot of women out there that are very insecure with how their vagina looks. Really? And yeah, I've ran into a couple um, in my life. Well, wait, 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 wait. Let's be. Let's use the proper terms. Okay. So. Oh, what vulva. we're saying, okay. the vagina is the vulva. Yeah. The vulva is what we can see. Yeah. The vagina is inside. inside. Yeah. Right. So the vulva looks. The vulva, yeah. So a lot of women that I've ran into have insecurities on the appearance of their genitals. Okay. I eat their vulva. Yeah. I eat the vulva, right? Okay. Like, what's their, what's their concern? Well, some of them don't like maybe how their lips are oh, out. Yeah, okay. Some of them don't like how much of it is exposed. Yeah. I remember there was this one woman that she was like, back in the day, she was begging me to eat her out. And I was like, nah, like, you're no offense, but like, it, this does not look appetizing. You know what I'm what saying? The, like, you said that? I mean, I didn't, I, like, I didn't say it like that, but I said it. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's like, like I'm a not, meaty part that like kind of that's what Oliver so, likes that's the clit so the yeah, clitoris that's not my is, right. it, it comes in different sizes and that. we should talk about this clitoris comes in different sizes the clitoris is like a penis you guys it is like a penis our clitoris is same very as interchangeable a penis. it gets erect like a penis so when it's aroused it's gonna be bigger mm -hmm. you're gonna see it more more and I don't know if the penis owners out here can say like oh yeah I can sell like oh the I need to record that and some time. men are intimidated by like a bigger clitoris <laughs> It, they're like, no, nah, like not that. Wait, are they no, turned off by it? Yes, I think so. Really? Well, it depends. Like, 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 like yeah, like the ones it's that I've seen. For you to it happen. Yes. I mean, it's different. You like, ever I seen can't. It happen? You ever what? been like under, like, have a clit under a microscope or something? Oh yeah. And just like saw it. Oh like, yeah. This is what she does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Know, like a, you know, scientist. Wait, hold on. I mean, time I out. Don't see a wrecked. Clit how many, <laughs> how many vulvas or vaginas, whatever the hell? Wait for it to get. How many of these? Like, have you? How many of these have you closed? Closed? Like, you know how, like, they get the surgeries to make them tighter? Uh, yeah, I mean... How many vagina rejuvenations I, have I you... I do mostly reconstruction on vulvas and vaginas that need it, that are, like, things have widened because of kids and things are falling down. I've done gazillions of those. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Things are falling down. Yeah. Yeah. Things are falling down. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> you see? <laughs> we moved on. Yeah. Well, no. Well, no, 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 no. no. But okay, let me let's, let, let's talk about why. Thank you. Statistically. Statistically, but what about the, reality? <laughs> I don't care about statistics. Like, reflect no, no, reality. No. Vaginas aren't like Dr. Milhouse. They come in various. The vagina, not the vulva. The vulva comes in different shapes and different looks. The labia can be long. Or whatever. That's different. I'm talking about the actual vagina. Statistically, what you're in isn't that varied. It really isn't that varied. Mm. It's not like penis size. That's mm. that. You know why? It's not cap. Yo, when you get home, when you I'm go home. About a, I'm talking about a Dr. woman who's not Milhouse. had. I'm talking about a woman who's not had babies. 
<laughs> not had sex either. Not had babies at years sex and don't years. Don't stretch and... out the vagina. Wait, wait. No, this is what okay. I'm saying. When you get home today, sex don't stretch out the or vagina. When, when do you go home tomorrow? tomorrow? When you get home tomorrow, right? Yeah. I want you to look your lovely husband in his eyes, <laughs> and I want you to say, out of all the women that you've ever had sex with, how many vaginas, not vulvas, <laughs> felt the same? <laughs> no, I'm not saying they. I'm saying that they're like... But if they don't the feel this, they got to be different if we're yeah. to have a different feeling. Yeah, they're, they could be different with the... There's something called rugae, which is like the ridges inside the vagina. That could feel different. Yeah, I had those before. Yeah, rugae. Rugae. Yeah, you don't even know what a rugae is. Yeah, I knew what it was. I, I actually I knew what I it didn't did. know that that was, that was <laughs> Yeah, it's but I do ridges. know the ridges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you have a lot of rugae. Yeah. We all have rugae. <laughs> We have rug but, but there's you different lose them when you get older. Why? Because, because you get lack stretched. Of estrogen. No. no. <laughs> no. So listen, <laughs> you lack of the estrogen? Okay. Because of the lack of estrogen. Oh wow. So I know. Sucks, right? Yes, it does. Yeah, so I say yeah, I don't have smooth. a shelf life. It turns smooth. Ooh. It turns it bland. Best. Yes. You ever had steak yes. without seasoning? Yes. It's foolish. <laughs> <laughs> it's foolish. But it doesn't have to be bad, but it <laughs> does up. tend to do that. <laughs> Why are you mad at me? Like, Shut up. Do we lose ridges when we get guys, older? Ridges where? I don't know. I, I was you say. guys don't get it up as I was easy. about to say yeah. your shit is There's literally. There's a pill for that. <laughs> There's no pill for your <laughs> honey. What is it, what is it called? Rugae. Rugae. They have to go How to do the they get their rugae's back? Time. You, you use estrogen cream. You can try to maintain some of that. Try to. Try cream. to maintain. You can try to maintain Seems like an that attempt. blood flow too. You can't, don't, pills don't do it all. Yes, He's it does. He's 30 now. He's getting up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, and I'm not going to lie to you. I had a long 30 years. <laughs> He's using the honey, the gas station yeah. honey. Apparently, that's a thing. To do what? He's putting it in his soup and stuff. To emphasize in his, uh, my emphasis. In his chicken. You don't know what's in that. You don't know what's in that. You know what I do know? Yeah, what, what is it? it? No, what is it? What, what's in it? Actually, no, 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 guys. Actually, there's um, there is Sudafil. Well, what is it called? Uh, Rico, no, you don't, you don't no, need uh, a, uh, chill. The, you don't know what's in, in it. it. I was about to say, and Viagra is um, uh, Sedenafil. Sedenafil, that's what I meant to say. All right, Sedenafil is in the honey. That's and what you're they taking it. That's what they said. There's a small dosage of it. Yeah, that's not right. Um, yeah, <laughs> All right, so so what's in the honey? <laughs> Wait, do you know what's in the honey? He said sildenafil, which is basically the generic for Viagra. So he's taking yes, a little bit of Viagra. They said that the they honey. said that they found that I mean, in the that's Viagra. The, point of the honey is for them to get to have it up. a little bit of Viagra. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, so that can you don't know what that can do with, to your heart. My heart is my heart is gone. Anyways, <laughs> I'm like, damn, I'm worried about my heart. You? I think I'm worried about my heart. Yeah, <laughs> you can have it. It's been gone yeah, okay. since 20. <laughs> I mean, like, like honestly, like, so for a young man, it's probably not a, a concern, but like for a man that's like 35, 40, 45, 50, I think like it's actually like a real concern. So like, I know I, a lot of older dudes that be popping them um, blue pills. Really that, the but we don't that know that it's good right. for them. It right. Good. But I know they're alive. And it, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out what's the issue. I mean, it, well, you could, they're sex probably could pro getting closer and closer propagate to a heart, heart attack. attack. Yeah. 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 It's probably going to happen yeah. regardless. Yeah. Right. I don't know. Like, I just, I, I would should, hate for, uh, for, for somebody heart to attack. be like watching <laughs> and they're like, oh yeah, the honey is good. It is that is good. It's like, but you need to like know what's what. Like, yes, seriously. agree. What, what I agree. Question? So the things for the yeah. estrogen, right? Yes. Um, the thing to keep maintain. R try to maintain the rugae. Yes. Rugae. Yes. R u g a e. Yes. Okay. Rugae. I'm gonna yes. I'm gonna make a mental note of that. Yes. If if you were to just in your professional opinion and like what you know in your work, okay. um, what in I wouldn't even say just in your work because your work would be like a very small um. Uh, like sample size. example size, right? So just and even just your your studies, mm -hmm. your even your training, wherever you've been. Okay, sure. What do you think is like the percentage of men who are like trying to get like a bigger penis now situation? Like actively, like I'm looking for that. Probably twenty five percent. Um, it's kind of big. It is. Now, is there if you had to do a difference between a girth and the length what i guess oh, if, ratio if we were talking about if we had a good easy way safe way to get length i think people would be lined up block of course and yes. it's not even absolutely <laughs> yeah the length, not girth yes and the craziest thing is it's not even the length that does it that's correct like 
mathematically, you scientifically, again, we are talking about heterosexual sex. Yeah, and yeah. I think the same is true for homosexual sex, to be honest, because the area that we tend to attribute to like the male G spot is the prostate area. And that prostate area is not that deep inside. It's like, you know, that much inside. So, so just again, one finger. Well, that's what oh. I put in. Okay, oh, I don't put in two fingers two when inches. I do the no, 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 the lens. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, like, two? Oh, okay. the tip of my finger, I can feel the prostate. In oh, hand. yeah. What does it feel like? Huh? Oh, wow. Erin's licking her lips. Yo, <laughs> uh, yes. Yo, Erin keeps licking her lips right now. No, what the oh my God. I'm confused what's going on. What does it feel like? It feels smooth. It feels smooth. <laughs> um, are we talking about the nap? Like a we're cherry about, or like a grape? Prostate. Prostate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you gonna go? Smooth. Are you trying to look for it? No, I'm just curious. It's like, smooth and it's like shaped like a heart almost. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know. Like, yeah. I'm married to a Jamaican. So he he ain't let her go you. up there. Right. Not like, like, nothing happened. Right. He like, probably slapped her. So, Aaron. <laughs> it's funny because it. Oh, it's mostly them? It's, it's the Jamaicans? No. Is it the Jamaicans? The anal, the anal <laughs> try stuff. <it> tonight. <laughs> this might be too far for tonight, Aaron, but like, it's, I might, could it's, try. Um, <laughs> it's an erogenous zone. It is. Oh, I'm not against it. Others. That's what they say. They say that's I'm not against it. I think it's more so men that are <laughs> against it. Yes, agree. And it's not just Jamaicans. It's it's yes, black. <laughs> it's, it's and cocaine is a hell of a drug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <Okay. laughs> we actually, we have a question from Whitney Marie. Hmm. Hey, Whitney. Um, she says, why does it seem like guys don't care to see lingerie? Is it more beneficial for the man or woman at the end of the day? Love y'all. P.S. Mm. Aaron, it wouldn't. Answer. It wouldn't let me send your penny. LOL. Oh. Ah, she said $19.99. <laughs> I love it. That's dope. <laughs> Whitney, we love that. We love Aaron Whitney. hasn't made one of those comments in a while. You're right. We love that. Wow. <laughs> well, I will say, I don't know what type of men she's dealing with. But for me, I am a very visual guy. So you like the lingerie? Yeah. I'm not saying it lasts long. <laughs> once I see it, it's coming off. yeah, once I see it, it's coming off, but it does get me there almost immediately. You know what I'm saying? So it's definitely appreciated. Now, when a girl wants to be like, no, let's this last. So I'm like, nah, like this no, is too long. For you me. need to there's make lingerie that, that you like, can give like open. a hole. Exactly. Yeah, they give like cutouts. Yes. So that you I never had those. Uh, I, I don't know. Ladies, I ain't gonna lie. Ladies, the bodysuit I got on right now got a hole in it. Yes, because you ready. Right? You ready. Did you like get that, home? It's shot o'clock. Like I ain't going to lie. Real talk, I can Aaron make it go down in the back room Aaron right now. Oh, I love it. I love it. This is my Aaron favorite. made yes. her own hole. <laughs> no, it came like that. Shut up. I'm <laughs> learning a lot. I didn't even know this existed. No, all women should get, that's what they should get. Like, get the the crotchless yeah and Body get suit. the boob like you get the one that has like it's the easy out and the crotchless it is listen you will feel sexy it's as easy well. yeah the crotchless and you can wear it the cute, whole time and he you know what i'm saying some can of get, them are really cute exactly. while you're Super having cute. sex you still have it on still like it on. you can rip it and i don't like rip. that shit yes. see like, i never had that you know I'm, yes. i guess i'm still a rookie in the lingerie department yes, yeah but um it would definitely be appreciated Listen, this is the thing. I think that a yeah, lot of... actually turn you on more than what? even being naked. What? Hell yeah. Yes. Does yeah. it? You think so? I think I so. I mean, yeah. I get a little aggressive at some point and take that shit off in the middle of it, but... You so know. this is the thing. I think that, like, <laughs> this question is based on... We hear men say, oh, and lingerie is not really that important. Mm -hmm. but, like, yeah, it's important for, like, the visual. Maybe not important for the act. No. Yeah. And yeah. so I think that, like, that probably should be clarified, you know, mm -hmm. when you... Yeah. I express that that sentiment but you know? just to play just to play on the other side of the fence real quick another reason is unfortunately as a dude we see a lot of women in lingerie all the time where Especially on social media you know oh, what i'm saying yeah. so like it's oh, almost you. become okay. it's, a norm it's like not it's, yeah. yeah so like so the, not, it doesn't really do anything yeah you. you know so i can't do you say think for it everybody doesn't? like do you, like generally do you think it doesn't do anything or is it just like when like, see, you're I'll be honest with in you, lingerie. Right? In, in a real life experience, in my real life experience, when I mess with the girl who had a lot of lingerie or bikini pictures on Instagram, if she wore it while we were in an intimate moment, it didn't mean much. Gotcha. But okay. for a girl that I was speaking to 
and messing with that I didn't really see a lot of that displayed, it, it meant so much more and it was so much more of a turn on. Mm -hmm. um, that's just my personal experience, you know, but. I mean, it makes yeah. sense. It's fair. Because I've already seen you in it. It's no thrill. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, but like, let me see you wearing that suit. You know what I'm saying? I don't well, know. I think I think there are there's, there's always an exception to the rule. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't even I don't like I don't even like concerts no more. <laughs> like I really don't no more. I swear. Stay off social media like me and you would become desensitized. You won't. You, you won't. won't. Yeah, you won't and become you won't desensitized. Become yeah, okay. Yeah. Telling you to stay off social media. You know, it's crazy, right? When I did modeling back in the day, right? There was always a bunch of women touching me, right? And they said that that was the one of the worst things to do is to have a bunch of people touching you because physical touch makes you desensitized. Um, so I can see why that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we want to hear it. No, just Lonnie. Lonnie got excited. Just keep going. Keep going. Yeah, you're doing Yay. too much, Lonnie. Chill out. I, so I, I, I have one. I have one thing she to got say. Excited. I have one thing to ask, actually, Rico. So, like, as a woman, and, you know, you want to, like, it's, it's not a special day, like, anniversary, birthday. It's, it's literally not a special day. So, would you think, would you feel that, like, lingerie is a good, like, something to come home to just, like, on a, a, on a regular day? Hell, yeah. Lingerie is more important to come home to on a regular day or random day than and, it is in an occasional day. Uh, yeah. I'm kind of already expecting you to do something and there's not much more that, yeah. especially if you've been together for a while yeah. there's not much more that you can do that's true especially like Valentine's Day you want to wear a red lingerie you, I could go <laughs> you'd be like why'd you waste that money that's so <laughs> I'm like true. damn like yeah. that was predictable yeah. like you know what I'm saying but if you were oh, so nice. on a random yeah. Wednesday yeah, but you have a point <laughs> you got a point first of all I feel like guys are just maybe uncomfortable with the fact that a woman is no initiating problem. sex yeah. so much because they're usually the ones that initiate sex so it's like if she's repeatedly re doing it they kind of feel like uncomfortable like oh who, who else she fucking like, all right guys really? that's not true what i will say is in my and okay <laughs> i've had a thing is that really no i have somebody for me yes me, like, so like I, see? For, was well not that out. not that but Dang. it is definitely a thing where a woman was Actually, man. When a woman wanted too much sex, and I'm like, yo. What is too much sex? Like, she wanted to have sex every single day, right? Yeah. And I understand that the sex was great. I don't got time for it. <laughs> like, I got things I got to do, especially, like, in my building space or building phase where, like, I was financially uncomfortable. I was still figuring out how I'm going to get myself right. And all she wants to do is sit here and have sex every day. But that's because you, and we talked about, remember we talked about this last time? That's because you don't want to be in a space fucking every day when you know your shit ain't together. No, it's also because having sex drains a man, in my opinion, drains a man more than it drains a woman. Like once I nut, I need a yeah, nap. I need a nap. Yeah. I need to sleep. Yeah. I need to relax. So not productive. Yeah, it's almost like I become, it's like smoking a blunt. Like I would just get yeah. lazy and yeah. I don't got yeah. time to be lazy. Yes. I got to go to so, work. <laughs> like so I got to get this money i gotta get yes. this you know what i'm saying so there is or even even like i remember i had this one girl who always wanted to have sex with me before i went to the gym and i was like there's no way i could have a good workout and have sex right before mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's not happening That's like if you want to have sex we have after. to we have to have sex after, so after you know what i'm saying but gym. even but even after <laughs> that's true because i i i might have a good nut off and then i'll I'll, I'll no, that's what like, I'm saying. I'm happy. Like, yeah, y'all are good. Let me wash these dishes. <laughs> <laughs> it rejuvenates yeah, you. We're yeah. like, <laughs> and that shit gets me like... so mad. I'll be in a coma. <laughs> she walking around and shit. I'm like, yo, no. Nah. It rejuvenates you and yes. depletes me. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like I just gave Why you mad energy. Down, I'm probably gonna come for real. <laughs> 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 yeah, like done it? Yeah, Have yeah. you ever had henny? Shit is normal. Have you ever had Henny? It's possible. I know. I, yes. I, I ain't gonna lie. I want to. <laughs> That's yeah. how I got into a two year relationship on a one night stand. I mean, the cooter might be dry. <laughs> right. I, you might I don't have want to it. Lube it up. Yeah, bring some yes. lube. What I are mean, you talking about? Agree, Pack it on. Because, yes, you might have to lube that. You might have to shove. spit a little like, bit. You're not even gonna lie. Yes. Like, wait, wait. Sex, sex like penetration sex? Yes, she's talking about penetration. Non stop. Penetration for an hour. I, it's possible. You asked if it's possible, you didn't ask if it felt good. I don't think it's not desirable for the average woman. Yes, we're to yes. Yeah, we're 
The average. Can I pull out and eat it? Like length of time is five minutes. And y'all be talking about one minute, man. All you need another four on top. Y'all just be talking. Y'all just talk shit. That's what I realized. Y'all want the big slammer that don't even want the slammer. Y'all want 30 minute, man, but y'all only want five. Y'all just been lying to us. I can go one A five minute nut is freaking amazing. <laughs> no, an hour sex is definitely doable, but it can't just be all penetration. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, we're, but she's talking about pure penetration. Yeah. No, nobody right. wants. Nobody wants that. Who wants yeah. No. That? I don't nobody want that. wants. Who? Girls, raise your hand. Do you one want an hour of just straight At the beginning of negative? No. Penetration. No. Nah. 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 I want it. No, that makes my Hey, Lani, 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 Lani. Wait, 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 wait. Ask the question. Ask the question. So Who wants crazy. an hour of penetration? Who wants an hour of penetration. <laughs> Nobody. Oh, she does. Lani, just raise your hand. <laughs> oh, I got a question. Wait, 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 wait. And hold One on. Kevin Roberts says, "Can the person off camera talking get a mic?" That's what Kevin Roberts says. Okay. Alan. Was it Alan? Okay, Whitney Marie has another uh, question. It, it's for me. Um, she says, <laughs> Amanda, I know you're a baker like I am. Yay. A what? Um, have you... Uh, baker. Baker. What's the... Baker? baker? Oh, baker. <laughs> I thought have like you ever bake. made an erotic <laughs> cake? Yes, okay, I have. Okay. An erotic cake? I've a bachelor cake? Okay. cake before. If so, did the size matter on the male part of the cake as well? Example, a cake for a bachelorette party. Yes, I did do a bachelorette party. I did a cake that I forgot what the saying was. It was a play on words, but it had a penis. Um, I had to, I, I got a penis mold and I, the penis was like coming off of like the top of the cake and I used like a candy melt for like the cum. Um, oh. <laughs> was the penis was black penis. or white? It was a black penis. <laughs> and then I actually black did black cupcakes for that bad. Was it four thing. inches or eight? I no, know, it ain't no four was, inches. I got a mold for the penis. <laughs> it was four inches. I got a mold on Etsy. I don't know whatever. Oh, definitely was four <laughs> inches. <laughs> yeah, Etsy has everything. Everything. Etsy has Damn. everything. Amazon has everything. Yeah. Listen, just type it in. Yeah, yeah. They have it. Black penis mold. But the cum? That's <laughs> what no, they well, wanted? I used, I used brown. <laughs> Imagine her Google shirt is crazy. <laughs> if the mold was just, you know, it's just the shape of it. Where was yeah. the cum going? Around the... Okay, so the it was a two tier cake. So the top of the cake was it was a circular cake, and I just did like put a, the dick on top. I put the dick on top. It was dropping down. Was, yeah. Oh. And then I used. Uh, oh, so it was uh, like almost like it was falling, like like it so was falling yeah. off, like yeah, like the drip. Like, You're you very know, visual. Cakes have drips. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it was the drip. Yeah, wow. it was the drip. Who wants nut cake? I'm sorry, I'm good. I don't I don't want nut I don't need cake. It, I didn't need it to see the, the semen. Yes. Yes. But yeah. Anyway. They might they might Did yeah, they, they, they no they it. wanted that. that yes. That's what they gave me. It was oh, they their wanted idea. the nut cake. It was their idea. They gave oh, me okay, okay, uh, they sorry. gave me reference. You that should have told you a lot about the person. Yes. <laughs> Fair enough. So we have typically when people come, we we ask three questions. Okay. So I'll do the first one. So if today was your last day on earth and you had to have sex with somebody. Dead or alive, whoever it is, it could be Harry Belafonte. Even rest in peace. Um, like who would it be? My husband, of oh, course. I, I love fucking, fucking him. I quit. See? I quit. Like I'm done with this shit. Yes, I actually like having sex with my husband. I feel I like me, Rico, me and you are here. <laughs> love it with the with, with that answer with the cap. Right. Now we got. It's not a cap. It point, is not. We gotta cap. scrap the question. No, I so I agree with it. Like, why would you why? risk? Something that you already know is going to be good. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so if you could have dinner with anyone, that's when you say dead or dead alive. Or, oh, sorry. <laughs> dead or alive. Sorry. Because <laughs> I'm like, sex, dead or alive? What are yeah. you talking about? If you could have dinner with anyone, dead, <laughs> dead or alive, who would it be? Nelson Mandela. Yeah? yeah. Oh, that's a why good Nelson? one. Oh, I mean, why not? He's like revolutionary. He I has just like so to much hear, to say. Like to hear people's His story. I mean, yes. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay, last one. What's your favorite go-to drink? Oh, my go-to drink is Maker's Mark and Sprite. Yes! Yeah. Okay. Bullet and lime for me. Yeah. Similar. Yep. So <laughs> let's go ahead and let's tell the guests or tell the um, audience what you have yeah. coming up, where they can find you. Yeah, so you can find me now currently on Instagram at, at Dr. Millhouse with one L, D-R-M-I-L-H-O-U-S-E. 
TikTok at Your Favorite Urologist. Basically, if you Google Your Favorite Urologist, you'll see all my socials. Uh, down there, urology. If you need help down below, down there. I got you. www.downthereurology.com. And then make sure you DVR Dr. Down Below. Season is coming near you in the future. Dr. Down Below on TLC. Yes. Yay. Yeah. Love it. Love it. You are great. You <laughs> are <you>. great. <laughs> All right.